Hello, my name is Miss Jessica from the Discovery Center Museum in Rockford, Illinois, and I have my science helper Kaylee again Hi. today to share Ooblick with you as part of our playful learning at home. So let's get started. All you need to make Ooblick is some cornstarch and some water. And if you want, you can add some food coloring, but we're gonna skip that today because that does have a chance of staining your hands or clothing. And Kaylee has a white shirt on today, so we don't wanna stain her pretty white shirt. So we do have our Discovery Center aprons on today to make sure that we try to keep our clothes a little bit cleaner. So we are going to start with some cornstarch. We do have a tray on our table to help us clean. Do you wanna open our container? Yeah. You can you open it or do you need help opening it? There you go. I just went to the room for that. I need a spoon. Oh, well, the spoon's inside. There you go. Ooh. So go ahead and scoop some cornstarch into your bowl over here. How now, much? Oh, let's see. How much ooblet do you want to make today? Lots. Lots. Okay, so let's start with several scoops. There's two. How many should we add? Five? Five. So that's three. How many more do we need? Two. Two more? One. One. There we go. Oh okay. my god, I'm gonna wipe that off. Oh. Can I pour the water? Oh. Uh, Please. Now, first thing you want to remember before we start getting too messy, what should you do with your sleeves? Whoop. There you go. Okay. Oops. You want to put. Now, what did I tell you about how much water we need to add? What? Tiny, tiny bit of water at a time. So start with a tiny bit. There you go. Then mix it in. Mix it in. Grown-ups, if you want to, you can use a spoon or something, but this is much easier to do with your hands. Now, is all that water mixed in? I'm going to add a little more. Boop. Well, is that going to be too much? We're going to find out. Now, the best thing is never add all of your cornstarch to start with because if you accidentally add too much water, you may need to add some more cornstarch. Now, let's see. I see a lot of water over there. Do we need to go and pour that around? Hmm. Oh, that is looking pretty good so far. But now that Give it's some more water. Do you need a little more water? Yes. All right, a right little more. Here. there you go, a little over there. Ooh. And you can help tilt it around in case the water starts pooling away from where the cornstarch is. Working really well. I like doing this on a tray so it's a little bit easier to clean up. And what are you noticing, Kaylee? How does it feel? Drippy and gooey. Drippy and gooey. Can you pick it up? What happens when you pick it up? It melts away. It melts away. Now, do we have it all mixed in or do we need a little more? This doesn't look like it's quite covering the bottom. Would you like some more cornstarch yeah. in there? We're going to go and add some more cornstarch because now that it's all wet, it looks like there's a decent bit of space still in there. Now, I can add this more much Put because water. I still have a whole other container of cornstarch over here. Yes, definitely need some more water. There we go. Mix that in real good. Ooh. That was a little much. A little, did I add too much? Yeah. Or do you think it's a good amount? I think it's a good amount because this isn't mixing in. Yeah, I still see some dry bits. Ooh, if you like put it in like that, it would. Maybe just a little bit of more water. Now, grown-ups, if you're doing this before the kids get, come in to play with it, such as if you have some younger kids, I highly recommend you have one messy hand and one clean hand and make sure you take off your rings beforehand because oh, they wait. will go and get caked in all of this. Why one hand clean? I don't want my hand clean. This is for the grown-ups because the grown you're going and getting fully messy, but grown-ups, if they're doing this, one hand is for mixing and one hand is for reaching for other supplies. Because if one hand, if both hands are in here, it's really hard to go and grab some more water if you run out. This is way or too get much. some more cornstarch. Mommy, this is too much water. Too you much water. Need to put a little bit more scor corn more cornstarch. Little more cornstarch. How about that? One more scoop. Try mixing that in first, and let's see how it goes. Because I need to like dry and stuff a little bit dry. Now, how can you tell when it's done? After it looks all watery and white. Does it still need some more cornstarch? Yeah. One more scoop? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Good. A little bit more water. 
Well, let's try mixing it around. Try folding some of the wet oobleck on top of the dry cornstarch and see what happens. I have a better idea. What's that? What's your Take better the idea? Dry. You and push, push it in. Push it down. And ta da! Oh, that's looking pretty close to done. Now, Ooh, how can you tell it's done? Do you know how I can tell? Hmm. Can you move your hands out of the way so I can show everybody? Now, the way you can tell it's done is because when you poke at the top, if you touch it quickly, it turns hard and your hands can come away cleanly. But if you touch it slowly, what happens when you touch it slowly? Your hand sinks right in and it gets all gooey it and messy. Happen. So when you touch fast, it's hard, but when you touch slowly, it's Can we soft. just have a little bit more water? Just oh, a little. Let me see. No, this seems perfect. I think this is just right. But I need to soak my hands in it. Oh, yes, your favorite thing. You like to let your hands settle all the way to the bottom and get stuck and then pull it out. And mm. pull. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, though, because it can go flying. Or make it dry, and then when I get it up, whoops, that fell. It'll drip a bit. Now be extra careful, this will go flying. Now grown-ups, when you're done with this, Ooblick does not keep very well. This is an organic product. It is made out of corn. So this one will start to go bad after a day or two. If you want to try to keep it, I would recommend keep it in a sealed container in a cool spot like a fridge. But it will start to grow mold if it's left somewhere warm or moist. So this one is best to dispose of after you're done playing. This can go in clogged sinks if you have too much of it go down at the same time. So I, after I'm done playing, we like to go and scrape this into the garbage can. And then we make sure to rinse our hands very well. This comes off with, war with water very easily. And you just need to make sure to rinse the drain very well afterwards to make sure there are no clumps left over clogging your sink. Is there anything you'd like to get at, Kaylee? Well... Um, we can also do the, like you also can know when it's done, when it's really squishy and when you pick it up and it starts dripping. And it's kind of fun for little kids and you should try it with your kid if you have. Is this a fun one? Mm-hmm. And if you do decide you want to try it with food coloring, just add a little bit into the water before you get started because if you try to add it in now, you're going to end up with rainbow colored hands. I want to have that. You do, huh? Put coloring in. Maybe we'll try that a little bit later. No. For right now, we're going to have to tell everybody goodbye. Bye. Bye. Resources See you soon. For... See you soon. Resources for this activity can be found on the link in the description or on the Playful Learning at Home webpage on Discovery Center Museum website. If you try this at home, please share a picture and use the hashtag Discovery Center Science so we can see your creations and maybe your colorful hands. Thanks for playing today. Bye. Subscribe for more daily science, crafts, and activities or visit the Discovery Center Museum Playful Learning at Home webpage for more information.